We've got five drivers all released in 2021. High MOI, great forgiveness. We're gonna test them out and see how they compare. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold and Thomas Campbell here from Second Swing Golf. We are outside today on the driving range. We've got five driver models. These are all new here in 2021 from various manufacturers. Uh, kind of a fun driver test. We're gonna watch Thomas hit a lot of bombs today. Uh, but five drivers here. So I've got Ping G425 Max, TaylorMade Sim 2 Max, and Cobra Rad Speed XB. Thomas has Tour Edge Exotics C721 and the Shirkson ZX5. So kind of those high MOI kind of built for forgiveness, but also that, that, uh, that high launch as well. So uh, Thomas, you've been fitting customers into these drivers all year. Um, what do you think we're gonna see out of this test today? I mean, you mentioned the word forgiveness, high MOI, that's very important. As we know, this game is very, very challenging. Yeah. But what's always interesting is our Masters winner, Hideki Matsuyama, just won using the Strixon ZX5 mm -hmm. driver. So we wanna definitely test this and see how this confirm, compares to the others. We've noticed in my initial testing, the Tour Edge Exotics has been some bombs, so yeah. it's always kind of fun to see those. And then these other three models that you're holding there too, they're the Ping, the Sim 2 Max, and also the Cobra Rad Speed XB, they've been performing really well in, in fitting in the environment, so it's fun to kind of test them and see how they all compare. Yeah, Matsuyama definitely put on a clinic at Augusta uh, off the tee with that ZX5. So we're going to test all of them here, Thomas is going to get some shots, and uh, we're gonna, just going to see what Trackman tells us. So uh, you ready to hit some bombs? Let's do it. That one has to be a little spinnier, a little right, and yeah, low on the cutting. face. It's cutting, but... All right, Thomas, Cobra Rad Speed XB. Kind of got that radial weighting, weight in the back. Um, five shots there, what'd you think? I mean, extremely forgiving. I think the first shot and the last shot didn't quite catch perfect. The spin rate jumped up a little bit on those two shots, but those other three shots, I feel like there was not much curve on the golf ball when I was hitting it. It was really good. No, yeah, it was pr very straight overall. I mean, averaging 13 feet of curve just to the right, and I think a lot of that was this last shot that kind of bent to, with a fade there. But other than that, the ball was flying very straight. Um, and then you're also hitting it 122 feet in the air on average, which is something to note, because there was a little bit extra spin, a little bit extra height on this driver compared to maybe others that you typically hit. So that's just, I think, the kind of the high launching for properties of that driver. Yeah, it just seemed like it was high and straight. Mm -hmm. yep. Exactly. Well, that's nothing wrong with that, right? Nothing wrong with that. All right, yep. we can move on here now. We'll, we'll do, let's do TaylorMade. TaylorMade Sim 2 Max. Okay. All right, Thomas, the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max. I think I think you would say, right, your first maybe three swings there were not perfect contact. Um, but then after that, you know, you got a couple of good ones to finish up with. So Sim 2 Max, what do you think about that driver? You know, how it looks, how it feels, all that stuff. I mean, this is the first time you've seen it like outside on real grass as opposed to being an inside fitting environment. Uh, it looks very clean and very, very crisp at a dress. So I really like the colors. I think I've said this about this driver in the past. I really like the transition from white to gray to black to blue, essentially. It looks very colorful, very, very clean at a dress. You were right, the first three swings, I didn't feel like hitting them very solid at all. I think they were a little bit on the heel, and I noticed my smash factor dropped a little bit lower on those. The last two kind of made up for it a little bit, uh, but I don't think I hit it as solid as what I hit the Cobra overall. Probably hit it furthest on my best shot compared to the Cobra, yeah. but uh, it just seemed like it was a little more left and right and a little spinnier. Yeah, your dispersion is just a little bit more leak and left. Um, it's a little bit more consistent on the distance, too, with rad speed, obviously. But, yep. Um, Okay, well now we can kind of get to, let's get to the uh, Matsuyama's driver, the Shrikstein ZX5 here. All right. Well, I feel like I hit that one perfect. That spin rate stays down, it still might go fairly far though. It did. It did, yeah. yeah. Got away with that one. You, could, you did. One four smash. Yeah, I haven't seen that very often with a driver. But, 297 yards, so. Yep. Forgiving. That sounds solid. That, that looks was probably really the better swings that I made. Seems like it's a penetrating flight a little bit too. Yep. That should go pretty far. 
That'd be about a hundred feet in the air. Yeah, I mean, Strixon ZX-5 looked really good at a dress too. Very, yeah. very clean looking, kind of that pear shaped look, a little more compact look compared to the others. It's kind of really good looking club. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's one thing I noticed from look, just my vantage point is it seems like that's more compact than the other kind of high MOI drivers we have in this test. Yeah, I mean, it. I feel like I hit the straighter so far of the three drivers that I've hit. I mean, the dispersion map is very uh, friendly to the Strixon ZX-5. It's a very small purple circle there. Um, interesting though that for whatever reason the smash factor dipped kind of, I mean I would say significantly um, for ZX-5 here is that it wasn't as efficient with the strike but you know in terms of the averages across the board it's still performing up there it's still ranking really well uh, it's just that the, again that the club speed is a little bit higher but the ball speed a little bit lower with the ZX-5 so. Yeah it's just showing that this thing is really forgiving even mm -hmm. in maybe a little more compact look. Yeah for yeah. sure well we can get to let's try ping at G425 max now. Interesting, we're seeing the same thing outside versus inside with that club speed thing. Heavier. Yeah, heavier club head. I'll tell you though, this thing is dead straight. So a little more of a fade on that one. A little less speed again. All right, five shots with G425 Max. I noticed a different sound for sure um, with this club head. Just a little bit more, it almost sounds kind of like hollow y a little bit, but. Yep. Um, what do you think about that? And then we kind of briefly touch on these numbers here. Yeah, I mean, it just, it was maybe a little louder, tingier sound to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was getting a little frustrated with the club speed with this. Yeah. And I was still trying to swing as fast as I, as I could. I mean, it's, it's cold out right now, but I just kind of noticed the last couple of models, my club speed was a little bit faster. And then when I was hitting this Ping G425 Max, knowing that the club heads maybe is a little heavier, due to the, the counterbalance golf shafts that the yeah. ping offers. Just couldn't get that club speed up with it. And we've actually seen that in other, other testing as well. Yeah. It's going to be really kind of interesting. And we saw that in my last two swings. I tried to lash out a little faster. Yeah. I still was at 108 point something and yeah. nothing changed. Obviously, I pulled them a little bit and they spun a little bit less. But otherwise, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Now it's a high MOI driver. But being a little heavier, it's going to be a little more stable for that reason. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, you probably hit a little bit straighter. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think I, I'm actually surprised at how all, really all these models so far have been really dead, like straight ball flights. Um, this one, you know, the G425 Max, it did have, it was more efficient, right? Kind of returned to sort of the way Rad Speed XB was behaving off yep. the face, um, just with a little bit lower spin. So 2200 is about the lowest spin so far okay. um, in the four drivers. But now, last but not least, we have Tour Edge uh, Exotic C721. All right. Yep. All right, well, Thomas, Tour Edge Exotic C721. That was five tee shots there with that one. And I think, I mean, so you had the highest, well, almost the highest club speed, but the spin stayed down much better with this, this driver compared to the others, and that resulted in some pretty darn significant, uh, you know, di well, distance gains essentially here. You're, I mean, yeah. your, your average there was 312 with that club, which is 10 yards further than any of the other models. So that spin was staying down, and as a result, you're getting some more distance. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it is. <laughs> This is like two or three times now that I've, you know, put this yeah. this driver in testing wise, and it has performed extremely well. Like, when you get comfortable with a driver, you get comfortable with a driver. And this is also just the stock hazardous yeah. RDX 6.0, 60 gram. Now four of these drivers are the hazardous RDX or or smoke 60 gram 6.0. Yeah. Now keep in mind this is the stock the go stock golf shaft test. Mm -hmm. Now there's a couple of models that we can't switch the driver shaft around with so we went with the stock ones that are going to weigh around the 60 to 65 grams okay so we've got rdx smoke um in four and then we also have the ping tour 65 and the, the ping driver so these are all stock essentially yeah. so it's not the perfect test but for stock i mean the performance yeah. is is great i mean so people can you know they're looking at the map right now in terms of the 
uh, carry distance dispersion. People are going to look at this and see the purple circle, which is ZX5. So the interesting one about that, the, the numbers on that driver here in this test are that, you know, the, the smash factor was a kind of small. I mean, it was one, one, four, three. Yep. Um, but, but it was dead straight. It was dead straight and yep. it's a super tight dispersion out there. And so you know, you have that, you have the exotic C721, also very tight dispersion, very consistent distance. And then another one consistent distance wise was ping G425 max. So um, in terms of dispersion, now this isn't to say Rad XP was bad. That was, a ter that was terrific as well. Very straight, very consistent. And the Sim 2 Max just had a couple of, I think, miss hits in there, right, to start with, mm -hmm. that maybe kind of, uh, you know, inflated that circle. But the dispersion map here, all, all five of these drivers are very good. And I, I got to say the ball flights on all of them were really straight too. Yeah, I just, uh, I'm, I just, I'm just so like dumbfounded by this driver. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just like, it's, it's, uh, it's just not one you would, you'd think name brand, your, your top four or five, you mm -hmm. know, normally you'd expect going to put it in a fitting. So Tor Edge for sure, we have to put those more in more fittings and, and compare them against other manufacturers because it is, it's a high, extremely high MOI driver. Yeah. It's forgiving and spins low. Right. I mean, that's far. the thing that I'm like, impressed with is the yeah. low spin. So I think, you know, when we did initial testing, I remember that being a really kind of a key characteristic of the driver, why it was performing so well for you is yep. the spin stayed down to in the, you know, 16 to 1800 RPM range. And for you swinging that fast, that's a good number for you to be at. Um, and in this test, same thing happened. I mean, we got these other drivers are at 22, 2300 and the Exotic C721, 1988 average spin which gave it, you know, a bump of probably six yards of carry distance there at 286.2 with the next one being 281. Total distance then 312.3, which is about 10 yards further than the rest on this, in this test. So mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, and again, this is a, it's not a perfect test. We're outside in the cold. We've got a couple of different shafts maybe in these clubs, so it's not exactly perfect. Uh, but I think the Tour Edge driver, man, it's the, the exotic C721, really good performer here today. Yeah, it's a it's a stock stiff shaft challenge depending on what manufacturer that you're going with. But yeah, great performance by the the C721 and then the the ZX5 for me was I was really impressed with how straight that I was hitting that there too. Mm -hmm. So two drivers you probably don't really think about too much. But I mean it's great. We've got competition. It's always good to have competition in the golf industry. Yeah, absolutely. Five excellent drivers, really forgiving, straight ball flights. Of course, the 2021 technology packed in. It's going to help golfers out there. So uh, any golfer interested in a driver fitting at Second Swing, you can stop into one of our stores. You can schedule a fitting on our website online. And if you're not near one of our stores, you can speak with one of the members of our online fitting and support team or schedule a fitting on our website through a video chat or a phone call. And our team will help you get set up with a new driver for straighter, longer tee shots. So Thomas, thanks for uh, you know, helping, us, helping today, hitting the shots. This was a really good informative test. Not a problem.